BFT on Yahoo Sports, Peter King, Mike Florio, all the big news in the NFL. And coming out of week two, the biggest news, the long list of injuries, an incredible array, not just of injured players, but injured star players. Too many to mention in the five minutes we have. But here's the key, Peter. Let's spin it forward. Which teams are most impaired by the injuries that have unfolded so far this season? The San Francisco 49ers, Mike, without any question. As we sit here after two weeks of the season, I would argue that eight of their 10 most important players, I'm not saying best players, whatever, but I would say eight of their 10 most important players have are either out for the year or have something that could keep them out of this week's game in the Meadowlands on their favorite turf against the New York Giants. And, and I mean, if you look at it, Mike, Let's just say you want to take out Eric Armstead and Mike McClinchy. Let's just say. I mean, every other place across the board on this football team, from Raheem Mostert to Jimmy Garoppolo to Debo Samuel um, to, to the other side of the ball, obviously, to Bosa, to Sherman. You look everywhere, in my opinion, this is the team that has been wounded uh, the most seriously. And, and again, Mike, we might be looking at the best division in recent years in the NFL, top to bottom. And there is no guarantee whatsoever. If the team we thought had a good chance to be number four in the division goes to number one in the division, the 49ers in week one and beats them, there's no guaranteed wins for the 49ers, even if they're healthy, you know, for the whole year. And so that's why I think the 49ers are the team most grievously affected by the injury bug. The best news for the 49ers for the NFC West this year, they take the tour of the NFC East and the AFC East, which actually raises the possibility of all four NFC West teams making it to the playoffs, which would be nuts. But with a third wildcard spot, it's possible the one injury that I think limits their chance to get back to the Super Bowl, I'm not going to write them off from a playoff berth yet, but the Nick Bosa absence, there's no one yep. to replace him. They're, you're not going to bring in a pass rusher of Nick Bosa's quality. Sorry, Ziggy Ansah, there's a reason he was available in late September. Nick Bosa was the difference maker last year, and without him, it's going to expose a lot of stuff on the back end that was covered up last year by that fierce pass rush. So it's going to be harder for the defense, which makes it harder for the offense. But I still think they're going to be okay. They're just not going to be as great as they were last year. I also look at the Broncos. To have Drew Locke out for several weeks and Cortland Sutton out for the year, that hurts a team that looked to have an offense that was ready to explode. And now we have to ask the question, can Drew Locke stay durable? He had a wrist injury last year that limited him to five games. Now he's got the shoulder injury. You've got to find a way to avoid contact. And if you take the hits, you've got to find a way to keep going. Two injuries in two years, not a good sign for Drew Locke. And, and you know, in the last team, look, I think the Jets are the worst team in football. But at some point, okay, they become non-competitive with all of the skill position injuries they have. You know, Le'Veon Bell hadn't been great for them, but they're, the injuries to their receiver group, it's, it's deadly. And so that really limits you getting an answer on Sam Darnold and beginning to raise the specter of Trevor Lawrence with the Jets if the Jets indeed have the first pick in the draft. It's unfair, but it will raise that specter. That really was one of the most amazing developments this weekend, Peter. The fact that the 49ers had all those injuries and still beat the Jets 31-13, to not a good look for the New York Jets. All right, that's it for PFT on Yahoo. We'll see you next time. Thanks, as always, for a few of your minutes, and enjoy your day. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.